guys let's talk about cryptocurrency but before we talk about cryptocurrency let's talk about blockchain technology now what is this blockchain technology that everyone is talking about blockchain seems complicated and it definitely can be but its core concept is really quite simple a blockchain is a type of database to be able to understand blockchain it helps to first understand what a database actually is a database is a collection of information that is stored electronically on a computer system information or data in databases is typically structured in table format to allow for easier searching and filtering for specific information now what is the difference between someone using a spreadsheet to store information rather than a database Spreadsheets are designed for one person or a small group of people to store and access limited amounts of information. In contrast, a database is designed to house significantly larger amounts of information that can be accessed, filtered and manipulated quickly and easily by any number of users at once. Large databases achieve this by housing data on servers that are made of powerful computers. These servers can sometimes be built using hundreds or thousands of computers in order to have the computational power and storage capacity necessary for many users to access the database simultaneously. While a spreadsheet or database may be accessible to any number of people, it is often owned by a business and managed by an appointed individual that has complete control over how it works and the data within it. So, how does a blockchain differ from a database? First, let's talk about storage structure. One key difference between a typical database and a blockchain is the way the data is structured. A blockchain collects information together in groups, also known as blocks, that hold sets of information. Blocks have certain storage capacities and when filled are chained onto the previously filled block, forming a chain of data known as the blockchain. All new information that follows that freshly added block is compiled into a newly formed block that will then also be added to the chain once filled. A database structures its data into tables whereas a blockchain, like its name implies, structures its data into chunks, blocks that are chained together. This makes it so that all databases are blockchains. This system also inherently makes an irreversible timeline of data when implemented in a decentralized nature. When a block is filled, it, it is set in stone and becomes a part of this timeline. Each block in the chain is given an exact timestamp when it is added to the chain. Now let's talk about decentralization. For the purpose of understanding blockchain, it is instructive to view it in the context of how it has been implemented by Bitcoin. Like a database, Bitcoin needs a collection of computers to store its blockchain. For Bitcoin, this blockchain is just a specific type of database that stores every Bitcoin transaction ever made. In Bitcoin's case, and unlike most databases, these computers are not all under one roof, and each computer or group of computers is operated by a unique individual or group of individuals. Imagine that a company owns a server comprised of 10,000 computers with a database holding all of its clients' account information. This company has a warehouse containing all of these computers under one roof and has full control of each of these computers and all the information contained within them. Similarly, Bitcoin consists of thousands of computers, but each computer or group of computers that hold its blockchain is in a different geographic location and they are all operated by separate individuals or group. These computers that make up Bitcoin's network are called nodes. In this model, Bitcoin's blockchain is used in a decentralized way. However, private centralized blockchains where the computers that make up its network are owned and operated by a single entity do exist. In a blockchain, each node has a full record of the data that has been stored on the blockchain since its inception. For Bitcoin, the data is the entire history of all Bitcoin transactions. If one node has an error in its data, it can use the thousands of other nodes as a reference point to correct itself. This way, no one node within the network can alter information held within it. Because of this, the history of transactions in each block that make up Bitcoin's blockchain is irreversible. Now let's talk about transparency. Because of the decentralized nature of Bitcoin's blockchain, all transactions can be transparently viewed by either having a personal node or by using blockchain explorers that allow anyone to see transactions occurring live. Each node has its own copy of the chain that gets updated as fresh blocks 
are confirmed and added. This means that if you wanted to, you could track Bitcoin wherever it goes. For example, exchanges have been hacked in the past where those who held Bitcoin on the exchange lost everything. While the hacker may be entirely anonymous, the Bitcoins that they extracted are easily traceable. If the Bitcoins that were stolen in some of these hacks were to be moved or spent somewhere, it would be known. The most important question, is blockchain secure? Blockchain technology accounts for the issues of security and trust in several ways. First, new blocks are always stored linearly and chronologically. That is, they are always added to the end of the blockchain. If you take a look at Bitcoin's blockchain, you'll see that each block has a position on the chain called a height. As of November 2020, the block's height has reached 6,56,197 blocks so far. After a block has been added to the end of the blockchain, it is very difficult to go back and alter the contents of the block unless the majority reached a consensus to do so. That's because each block contains its own hash. Along with the hash of the block, before it, as well as the previously mentioned timestamp, hash codes are created by a math function that turns digital information into a string of numbers and letters. If that information is edited in any way, the hash code changes as well. Here's why that's extremely important to security. Let's say a hacker wants to alter the blockchain and steal Bitcoin from everyone else. If they were to alter their own single copy, it would no longer align with everyone else's copy. When everyone else cross references their copies against each other, they would see this one copy stand out and that hacker's version of the chain would be cast away as illegitimate. Succeeding with such a hack would require that the hacker simultaneously control and alter 51% of the copies of the blockchain so that their new copy becomes the majority copy and thus the agreed upon chain. Such an attack would also require an immense amount of money and resources as they would need to redo all of the blocks because they would now have different timestamps and hash codes. Due to the size of Bitcoin's network and how fast it is growing, the cost to pull off such a feat would be probably insurmountable. Not only would this be extremely expensive, but it would also likely be fruitless. Doing such a thing would not go unnoticed, as network members would see such drastic alterations to the blockchain. The network members would then fork off to a new version of the chain that has not been affected. Now this would cause the attacked version of Bitcoin to plummet in value, making the attack ultimately pointless as the bad actor has control of a worthless asset. Same would occur if the bad actor were to attack the new fork of Bitcoin. It is built this way so that taking part in the network is far more economically incentivized than attacking it. Now, let's come to the main topic, which is cryptocurrency. Well, cryptocurrency is part of blockchain technology. Right. So let's assume a Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and a new transaction has been entered. Now the transaction is then transmitted to a network of peer to peer computers scattered across the world. This network of computers then solves equations to confirm the validity of the transaction. Once confirmed to be legitimate transactions, they are clustered together into blocks. These blocks are then chained together, creating a long history of all transactions that are permanent. Now the transaction is complete. This is simply what a Bitcoin is or a cryptocurrency is. What are the attributes of cryptocurrency? While blockchains are mostly used to store cryptocurrency transaction history, other things like legal contracts or product inventories can be stored. Now, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency has intrinsic value as it is a trustworthy, secure and fast way to transfer value for little to no cost. It has no physical form as it exists on only on the immutable blockchain. The attributes of a cryptocurrency such as its total supply are decided upon by the majority of the members of its decentralized network instead of a central bank. Now, where can blockchain be used? First of all, perhaps no industry stands to benefit from integrating blockchain into its business operations more than banking. Financial institutions only operate during business hours five days a week. That means if you try to deposit a check on Friday at 6 p.m., you will likely have to wait until Monday morning to see that money hit your account. 
even if you do make your deposit during business hours the transaction can still take 1 to 3 days to verify due to the sheer volume of transactions that banks need to sit in blockchain on the other hand never sleeps blockchain forms the bedrock for cryptocurrencies like bitcoin the us dollar is controlled by the federal reserve under this central authority system a user's data and currency are technically at the whim of their bank or government if a user's bank is hacked the client's private information is at risk if the client's bank collapses or they live in a country with an unstable government the value of their currency may be at risk in 2008 some of the banks that ran out of money were bailed out partially using taxpayer money these are the worries out of which bitcoin was first conceived and developed healthcare providers can leverage blockchain to securely store their patients medical records when a medical record is generated and signed it can be written into the blockchain which provides patients with proof and confidence that the record cannot be changed if you have ever spent time in your local recorder's office you will know that the process of recording property rights is both burdensome and inefficient today a physical deed must be delivered to a government employee at the local recording office where it is manually entered into the country's central database and public index in the case of a property dispute claims to the property must be reconciled with the public index this process is not just expensive and time consuming it is also riddled with human error where each inaccuracy makes tracking property ownership less efficient blockchain has the potential to eliminate the need for scanning documents and tracking down physical files in a local recording office if property ownership is stored and verified on the blockchain owners can trust that the deed is accurate blockchain could be used to facilitate a modern voting system voting with blockchain carries the potential to eliminate election fraud and boost voter turnout as was tested in the november 2018 midterm elections in west virginia using blockchain in this way would make votes nearly impossible to tamper with the blockchain protocol would also maintain transparency in the electoral process reducing the personal needed to conduct an election and providing officials with nearly instant results this would eliminate the need for recounts or any real concern that fraud might threaten the election now these are all the advantages of using blockchain now what are the disadvantages of using blockchain well first of all the technology cost although blockchain can save users money on transaction fees the technology is far from free the proof of work system that bitcoin uses to validate transactions for example consumes vast amounts of computational power in the real world the power from the millions of computers on the bitcoin network is close to what denmark consumes annually Bitcoin is a perfect case study for the possible inefficiencies of blockchain. Bitcoin's proof of work system that takes about 10 minutes to add a new block to the blockchain. At that rate, it's estimated the blockchain network can only manage about 7 transactions per second. Although other cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum perform better than Bitcoin, they're still limited by blockchain. Legacy brand Visa for context can process 24,000 transactions per second. Solutions to this have been in development for years. There are currently blockchains that are boasting over 30,000 transactions per second. Well, illegal activity is also possible on blockchain technology. Many in the crypto space have expressed concerns about government regulation over cryptocurrencies. While it is getting increasingly difficult and near impossible to end something like Bitcoin as its decentralized network grows, governments could theoretically make it illegal to own cryptocurrencies or participate in their networks. Over time this concern has grown smaller as large companies like PayPal began begin to allow the ownership and use of cryptocurrencies on its platform. With many practical applications for the technology already being implemented and explored, blockchain is finally making a name for itself at age 27. in no small part because of bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a buzzword on the tongue of every investor in the nation or in the world blockchain stands to make business and government operations more accurate efficient secure and cheap with fewer middlemen as we prepare to head into the third decade of blockchain it's no longer a question of if legacy companies will catch on to the technology it's a question of when all right guys this is the story of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency thanks for watching this video please do like share subscribe to our channel rkss creations don't forget to click on the bell icon 